Hello, my name is Alistair Slowly and welcome to Construct Software. Today we're going to be talking about a retrospective technique called the emotional seismograph. So it's always interesting to change things up in your retrospective. Make them interesting, make them fun, right? Make them valuable. I'm going to give you a technique that's pretty fun and can also help the scrum master, the facilitator of the team, figure out the emotional temperature, the happiness or the unhappiness or the morale of the team. It's called the emotional seismograph. In your retrospective, the facilitator, the scrum master, draws a chart, a graph, up on the wall on a whiteboard. Happiness at the top, unhappiness at the bottom, progressing through time over the course of the sprint. And the scrum master asks each team member on the scrum team to come up with their own color marker and to draw and explain their emotional status over the course of the sprint. So this person, for example, might come up to the board and say, well, I started the sprint with a great planning session. And then my wife bought me a new gaming console. The tester found some bugs on my code, but then I fixed them and included some automation. And then my manager came by my cube, but then the scrum master was able to protect me from them and I finished off the sprint fairly well. And the next team member would come up with their own color and explain what happened to them and their emotional state over the course of the sprint. I was testing the code, found some bugs, and I love finding bugs. And I was able to implement some new features in the continuous delivery system. And then, unfortunately, my manager came by my cube, but the scrub master was able to handle them. And I finished off the sprint with a new CI system. And each team member comes up with their own color and does this. You can find interesting patterns, kind of get an emotional feel for the team, how well they're doing. And it's a fun and interesting way to have a cool retrospective.